guys and welcome to my channel. So today it is a quick video on how you can be successful on Weight Watchers, how you can use it for your advantage and lose weight, what I've used to lose weight, um, little tips that I have and yeah that is it. So I have been on Weight Watchers for 10 weeks now. I'm on to my 11th week so I am loving it. I have lost 25 pounds 25.7 pounds, so nearly 26 pounds. You can't discount that part. So 25 pounds in 10 weeks. I am by far not a massive loser, but I'm by far not a small loser. I'm kind of like in the middle range. So I feel like I'm doing really well. I have lots of people who have been mailing me saying you've done really amazing. Wow, I'd love to do it like that. But then I see others who are doing unbelievably much more than I have ever done and losing consistent weight more than what I'm losing. So I guess everybody loses weight at different rates and that's a big thing that I'm starting off this video with. You might see me and think, wow, that's amazing. Then you might see someone else that is doing amazing and even better and then you are not seeing the results. Every single person is different. So the biggest thing that we can say is there is different types of bodies, but also do the diet for you. That is a big thing. If you're doing it for someone else or you're doing it because of something else, that's not going to work. You have to do it because you want to do it. You want to lose weight. You want to feel good about yourself. And so focus on yourself. Tell yourself, you deserve this. And you want to lose the weight for yourself. Not um, for any other reason, which might be anything. It could be anything. I remember being in my teens and losing weight because a boy said I was fat. And so I thought, oh, I've got to lose weight. Well, guess what? No. I lose weight because I want to lose weight, not because of that. Okay, another big thing is track, 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 track. Whether you're on Slimming World, Weight Watchers, I am doing Weight Watchers, so it's unique to me, but track everything. Write everything that goes in your mouth. If you eat a morsel of a biscuit, point it, put it on the Slimming World, sin it. Just do it. I'm going to refer to only Weight Watchers because I'm on Weight Watchers, but you need to track. It's the most vital part. Now with Weight Watchers or Wellness Works, which is their new slogan, you can um, get the app. The app is amazing. It's tremendous. It's fantastic. And it's the best app on the market for sure. You now have a blue dot challenge where you can get a blue dot every single day if you stay within your goal of your tracking. And that's just another little incentive. They also have Connect, where you can connect with other people. There is an online coach that you can ask them anything you want, which is just unbelievably good. And when you're tracking, it tracks all your food, counts it all up for you, has leftover points, will roll it over. If you don't have leftover points, it'll take it out of your weeklies. It counts activity points. If you have a Fitbit, which I have, I have the Charge 3, it counts up all my Fitbit things, puts it in, and you could eat them if you wanted, but I never do, because they'll give you points. And the beauty of it is tracking. Every single thing that I eat, I track it. By a, um, a good weighing scale, that is 100%, definitely do it. I have my weighing scales in the house and I just love them because I use it for everything. I weigh my pasta, I weigh my cereal, I weigh my potatoes, I weigh all my ingredients for, say my soup, 100 grams of lentils, I weigh that, even though that's zero points. But potatoes can be terrible because on Weight Watchers they have points. So if you have, if you think, well, they're only three little potatoes, you need to point them as how many grams it is. So definitely invest in some scales. They are essential if you want to do it. But another thing with the new Weight Watchers is they have zero foods. And that's kind of like Weight Watchers where you have, no, Slim and World where you have free foods. Um, so it's kind of similar to that. But if the big thing that I can say on this, and I won't linger on it too much, is free foods or zero point foods do not meet in zero point calories. They have calories. Corn, for example, that I love to death, is a zero point food. So I could eat a whole tub of 300 gram worth of mince. Yeah. But is that really what you would eat for your lunch or your dinner? Because zero cal, no, zero point foods do not mean zero calories. They have calories. Everything has calories. Even a vegetable stock cube has 25 calories, but it's not zero points. Let's go to, right, three carrots for my soup is 81 calories. So, it's zero points from Weight Watchers, but does that mean you want to eat like maybe six and then that's 160 calories? 
big thing for me is that carbs are not the enemy. Carbs are amazing. I eat carbs every single day. I have two slices of bread every single day. I have potatoes most days. Um, I like a mixture of carbs. They are not the enemy for sure. And on Wellness Works Weight Watchers, you can eat carbs for sure. It's all within moderation and it's all within your points. So that's a big tip. Don't deny yourself of those carbs if they're what you like. Another big tip is to use the Connect part of the Weight Watchers app and to use Instagram. Big massive tip from me. I think it's fantastic sharing your foods every single day. I share um, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I don't share snacks, but I share everything that I eat main and I absolutely love doing it. I guess if it's not for you, then fair enough. But I love to look back on some of my um, meals. And sometimes if I'm struggling and I think, oh gosh, what could I eat today? There's nothing I fancy. I always go back on my um, Instagram posts and have a look and think, oh, I like that. I loved when I had that dinner. Well, that was really tasty. Share your posts. You don't have to need have to have lots of followers. It can just be for your own self, which I think is fantastic. The thing is, if you're about to start it, my big tip would to be film yourself or write your feelings down. That is 100% a good tip to do. I filmed myself at the start and now looking back, I look so depressed, so down. And people were writing that on my comments and I thought, well, I'm not down, but I think I was. I was feeling quite bad about myself at the time. So I would say 100% film yourself, go back and have a look, write down your feelings. If you don't want to film yourself, you're not comfortable, write down your feelings um, and how you're feeling and stuff. Like, I'm hoping to use it as a tool for my future so that when I go on a binge or I think about a binge or I want to binge, I want to look back at that video and remind myself that I did not feel good. Why are you about to binge? Why are you giving into this feeling of eating? Don't do it. Okay, another one is to measure yourself. Please do that. Measure yourself and take pics when you start, the day of starting or the day before, because it's essential. Some weeks you can think, oh my gosh, I only lost a pound. I feel terrible. But if you measure, you might have lost some measurements around your thighs, around your midriff, around your boobs, and that can make you feel just so much more brighter and keep you going on the diet. And taking pictures is amazing, for sure. If you can get your husband, your partner, your girlfriend, anyone who can take your pictures um, at a place where you're gonna do it every time. I always wear the same outfit. So I have this little red top and I wear this every time that I do my um, pictures. And I hope to be wearing it when I'm down to Galway. And it's especially great for if you have a plateau week and you think, I haven't lost any weight, I've only lost a pound. But then you have a look at the pictures and you see the change and you think, wow, I've done it. Okay, and my last one of the day, I will try and do another video, add some more in, but I wanted to try and make this not the longest video in the world. But um, yeah, visualization visualization couldn't say it but yeah that's my biggest tip for me I absolutely love using visualization I visualize myself at a lower weight I visualize myself and um, how I'm going to feel I will be sitting in my mind going I'm at the Elvis dance and this is how I'm feeling this is the dress I'm wearing this is how confident I'm feeling um, and I really just put a positive spin on everything so I always try to stay positive and a positive outlook in my future and how I'm going to look. I never let negative creep into me. So when you start your diet, it might not be working until you're really into the zone. I'd say a couple of weeks it was took me to actually believe that I could visualize myself as a thinner person. So um, yeah, give yourself time before you maybe take this step. Um, there was this guy called Steve, he was on, he's like a really controversial, um, weight loss guy and he was on this morning and he said talk to your food and I have been talking to my food I've been saying like to cakes you're not going to help me get thinner you're not going to make me feel better I look like a crazy loony person but it's helping with the visualization so I visualize myself looking thinner see a cake and I think right well I don't want you don't come to me that's not going to help me be a thinner person for sure works and then he also said to love yourself put up pictures put up things around the room um, buy yourself little dresses and stuff that are going to fit in the future, which I have. I bought this from Accessorize and this is um, it here and it's tiny. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's like a baby thing. Um, so yeah, it fits me. It goes on, but I could never wear it out. I mean, it's so tight and ridiculous around my boobs and my stomach is terrible. But yeah, I bought it. So 
buy these little things, say, you're gorgeous, you're fantastic, you can wear this to yourself, not to the dress, but yeah, to yourself, I am gorgeous, I'm going to wear this dress, I'm going to look fantastic, and I deserve to wear this beautiful dress. I deserve to look fantastic and feel amazing. Hey, I'm off now. That is me done for this video. I hope you got some tips, some ideas, um, some things of how it's worked for me for weight loss. Those are some of my top tips and things that have been working for me. So I'm going now. Thanks for joining me. I hope you got something out of it. Take care of yourself and happy weight loss if that's what's on your mind today. Bye everyone. My channel. Hello. Comment below. Like the bell button. Thumbs up. Thank you.